I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel Sharjeel I at the end. Now in this video, I will show you how to plot diplopia, how to make diplopia chart. Now diplopia chart is the record of images of an object seen by the patient mostly of squint uh, paralytic squint patient in nine positions of gaze for uh, uh, plotting the diplopia accurately patient should be seated comfortably at examiner's level with head erect and still now i achieve this uh, feat by placing the head of the patient on the slit lamp chin rest and head rest uh, and uh, I remove the slit lamp uh, illumination as well as focusing side away so patient is straightly gazing me I usually show a pen without cap to the patient and told him or her to tell me whether he or she sees a single pen or double and where and also touch the tip of the pen in all nine gazes and where uh, a patient sees double image uh, she should touch the tips of both pens and that will also tell and tell me subjectively that whether the patient is uh, seeing the double image horizontal or vertical and by touching the tips of the pen it will also tell me that whether uh, the diplopia is horizontal or torsional and it is usually done at half to one meter distance and distance should be also charted so here now in the first patient we have plotted the chart and patient sees single in all nine gazes it means there is no diplopia patient may have committed squint now in each position uh, where patient sees uh, double uh, patient should be asked the amount of separation and whether images are parallel or tilted doubling is noted with respect to the patient right and left gaze and not the examiner so now we are plotting the diplopia chart in the second patient now this patient have a right six nerve palsy and she is seeing double in the right gazes images are parallel and most separation is in the right and down gaze so that's why you can see the most separation but images are parallel to each other that also tells us that this patient have got horizontal diplopia and not vertical diplopia so we have also mentioned the right gaze and left so right gaze right horizontal diplopia it means that a right lateral rectus palsy in the third patient we will show you how to plot the vertical diplopia now gaze can tell you which muscles are affected here we are plotting a diplopia chart of the patient with superior oblique palsy and now you, the audience the viewers they should tell me that right or left superior oblique palsy here patient sees double in down primary gaze in primary gaze in left gaze in uh, down gaze and in down and left gaze so as we know that the right superior oblique uh, function is uh, to look uh, in down and in gaze so here uh, this is a patient uh, this is diplopia charting of a right uh, superior oblique palsy because superior oblique uh, 
will have limitation in the opposite gaze right superior oblique that will show you left down and in diplopia and you can see the arrows they are tilted as well as not at level so it is torsional that's how we plot torsional diplopia it gives you subjective information and of how far the images are whether horizontal or vertical doubling and which muscles are affected after diplopia charting you can go for has charting which is more quantitative and detailed assessment of paralytic squint thank you very much